When things go wrong, they always seem to happen at once, and they just compound on top of each other. And it's it's pretty easy sometimes to to feel beaten when you're faced with all those issues and all those problems, and they all hit you at the same time. But let me tell you that that doesn't mean give up. In fact, it means the opposite. Just because you feel afraid doesn't mean you have to be afraid. Just because you feel discouraged doesn't mean you have to be discouraged. Just because you have fear doesn't mean fear has to have you. When you have fear, fear makes you speak in a certain way. When you have fear, but when you have faith, you don't need to count. When you have faith, you don't need to go outside. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many horses. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many armies. When you have faith, you don't need to see how many swords. When you have faith, you don't need to count no shields. When you have faith, you don't need to look at the parameter and see how many kids. When you have faith, you just believe and it'll happen. You gotta get to the point where you don't need a car anymore. You don't need a house anymore. You don't need to be pushed by anybody anymore. Your dreams, your wives are gonna push you. Your spouse is gonna push you. Your child is gonna push you. The need to get better is going to push you because you're closer than you're ever going to be. It's going to push you. You don't need anything to push you. Your goals are going to push you. Your dreams are going to push you. The opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is going to push you. It's going to drive you. It's going to make you better. You got to tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You got to tell bankruptcy. You got to tell divorce. You got to tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. If you are willing to grind, you can start from nothing. When I talk about beast mode now, I'm talking about the ant that's very small, but that can probably live a hundred times his weight. I'm saying that some of you in this room, you might not be a lion yet. Some of you in this room, you might be an ant. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources. You might be the ant, and the ant has very little, but he's determined. He's strong. He has a dream and a goal, and he'll do whatever it takes. Many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope and you got to do me a favor. Like you can't give up. You can't give in. Listen to me. If it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to start fighting back. When the going get tough, the tough get going. When you go through the valley, when you have been knocked down, when you know what it is to be destroyed, when you know what it is to be wiped out by life, no one can take that from you. If you come from a family right now that's broke, use that to your advantage. I use that to my advantage that I was a high school dropout, that I was homeless, that I ate out of trash can. I love dealing with a dude who thinks because he come from money, he better than me. Let's go. You got money, but do you got that dog? Yeah, you got money, you got privilege, but do you got that dog? There's certain things when you privilege that mama can buy you, but you can't buy grit, and you can't buy grind, and you can't buy resilience, and you can't buy art, and you can't buy that dog. I got this dog for being homeless. I'm getting paid now because the homelessness didn't break me. Come on, you need to remember, this is not the first time you cried. This is not the first time you were short of breath. This is not the first time you didn't see a way clear. This is not the first time you were hurt. This is not the first time your heart was broken. This is not the first time you didn't have enough money. This is not the first diagnosis that came up from behind. That I'm going to live to tell the story. This too shall pass. I will remain. I'm not going to quit. Every one of my burdens, there's a blessing on the inside of it. If you don't quit, you will win, baby. Just keep coming back. If you got nothing left to give, just show back up. Half of life, man, is just showing up. I couldn't give up. Homeless, I still couldn't give up. I'm one class shot, the PhD. I can't give up, why? Because the value, what is what, what I put in, I put in too much. I've given too much, I sweat too much. I've given up sleep, I've given up friendship. I've given up so much stuff that I had to get back later, why? Because the value, I put too much in it. What's it worth to you? What does it cost? What price have you paid for it? What has it cost you? And if it costs you some, then you better not quit until you get a harvest. You better not quit till it's fully developed. You better not quit in the midst of the process. I need you to speak victory. I don't care what's going on around you. I need you to speak victory. I need you to talk victory. I don't care what your circumstances are. I don't need you to speak your reality. If you broke, you ain't got to tell the whole world you broke. 
I need you to speak victory. I need you to say I'm going to graduate when you can't even see it. I need you to say my book will be finished. I'm an author long before it's finished. You have to believe it when you cannot see it. You have to speak it and say it's so, so that it can become a reality. Because if you can speak it, if you can say it, you're going to eventually get to it. Get out of your head and into your greatness. You can't stroll to your goals. You keep being casual, you will end up a casualty. Death is not the greatest tragedy of our time. The greatest tragedy is what dies inside of us while we're still alive. Not trusting your gift is sinful because by God, it was put in you. I don't know what you've been through, but trust your heart, it will defend you. You need to use your tongue to validate your gift and look yourself in the mirror and encourage yourself and say, I'm still gifted. I've been through some pain, but I'm still gifted. I've buried some loved ones, but I'm still gifted. I've added some setbacks, but I'm still gifted. Despite the circumstance, you can win. Despite the giants, you can win. Despite the adversity, you can win. Despite the obstacles, you can win. Despite the situation, you can win. Despite how much money you got in your bank, you can win. You can pull it off. Why do you do what you do? Why is that important, Les? Because when the storms of life come, and they're going to come, when life pounces on you, and that's going to happen, when it catches you on the blind side and drops you to your knees and that's going to happen, when people don't come through for you and don't keep their words and don't support you or actively work against you and that's going to happen, when you want to give up and that's going to happen, your reasons will be your bridge over troubled waters. You got to know why you're out here because you're going to get your butt kicked, but you got to know why you're there because your reasons, when life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. What are the reasons? Write down why you're here. Write down five compelling reasons and why you're going to keep your commitment to change your life. Keep your commitment never to go back to the life that you once lived. Keep your commitment to creating wealth for yourself, to taking care of your children, to be more responsible. Keep your commitment to live a life of contribution, to keep your commitment to be a conqueror. And to act like it. And to have authority and dominion of everything in your life. What are those reasons if life knocked you down, try and land on your back? Because if you can look up, you can get up. Your reasons will help you to get back up again. I'm talking about hope. You got to be able to see it when it cannot be seen. You got to see it in your mind's eye. You have to see it happening. You have to see yourself writing the book before the book is finished. You got to see it. You have to see yourself graduating even though the teachers are telling you that it's not going to happen. Even though you got the letter saying you're getting kicked out of school, that you're on academic probation, that you're dismissed. Hope, you have to believe in the unseen because if you can't believe in it, you will never manifest it. But when you believe in it, you demand the universe to assist you in what you're doing. And if you can see it before everybody else can see it, then it's going to eventually come to you. It's lonely, you will be laughed at, people will call you crazy, you will be misunderstood. It's going to get rough. It's going to be very challenging whenever you decide that you want to grow. Whenever you decide that you want to go to another level, all hell will break loose. That goes with it. That goes with the territory. That when you want to grow, when you want to achieve, when you want to experience more, everything that can happen will happen. The true character of a person is shown when your back is up against the wall. These are the moments that separate the successful from everybody else. You know what you got to do to get to paradise? You got to fight like in hell. Get to in paradise. Paradise starts in hell. It's the ones that can fight, the ones that come back, those are the ones that succeed. So whenever you decide you want to go to another level, you've got to fasten your psychological, your mental, and your spiritual seatbelt because you're going to experience some turbulence when you're going out. And some of you are already experiencing that turbulence. Don't be frightened by that. You've got to go through this phase here. This is how you grow. This is how you develop. See, life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go well, and sometimes they don't go well. But in the down moments, that's when you discover who you are. In this prosperous time, you put it in your pocket. In the 
lean times, you put it in your heart. See, there's some people in this room right now that you need to hear this loud and clear. You need to get this in your spirit because I don't know what you're walking through, but some of you right now, you are in a tough season. An event has happened and something's happened and maybe you have failed. But I want to remind you that failure is not final. It's formative. It is part of the process. It's part of the journey. Your failure matters as much as your success. How do you think you're going to grow if you don't ever fail? Yet some of you have failed and you have decided, well, guess what? I'm a failure. No, failure is an event. It is never a person. Failure is actually fuel for your future. The way that you grow, the way that you advance, you have to fail in order to succeed. If you do not give up, if you fight back, you can beat it. I know you have that warrior inside, and now I'll just need you to activate it. This thing will not be two. You might be one phone call away. You might be one opportunity away. You might be one second away from your entire life blowing up. You will never, ever know if this was your moment, if this was your destiny, if this was your time, if you quit. So don't you ever give up on me. You keep fighting and you keep striving. I don't care what it is. I don't care how many times you've had to cry yourself to sleep. I don't care how difficult it is. Don't you dare give up now because whatever is over you defines you and whatever defines you limits you. You better put some strength in your back, plant your feet, square your shoulders and stand up to it. Stand when it's uncertain. Stand when it doesn't feel good. Stand when it's controversial. Stand when it doesn't seem to be happening. Stand on what you know when you can't trust what you see. Don't you dare sit down. Don't you dare crumble under the weight of it. Don't you dare give in because of the nature of it. Don't you dare go home and raise the white flag of surrender. This is not your season to die. This is not your season to twit. There's joy. There's peace. There's breakthrough. But you'll never see it if you don't stand up to it. You can't make millions of dollars if you don't make million sacrifice. You're going to need to cut some fat if you want life to change. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. Because everything is based off of activity. Very few people want to show their calendar. Because if they did, you would realize who really wants to win bad and who doesn't. It's mathematically impossible for you not to win at the highest level if your calendar is packed from day till night, every single day, the entire year, day after day after day after day after day without you winning. Some of y'all so caught up on the game that you don't get it. It is in practicing. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grinding is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you're studying without coach, when you're putting in those extra reps, when you're watching those videos and you're getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. Champions are focused on the goal. They don't have time to be doing stuff that's not going to help them toward the goal. So all the little stuff you're talking about, all the little social media, cut it off. Cut it off. Do what you're supposed to do. You ain't no boy no more. Get off social media. It's killing you. Get off of it. Stop Netflix. Who are you watching? Watch you. Cut the TV off. It's going to be there. You got a job to do. That's what you're getting paid for. Have some pride. Cut off the TV, son. Cut that doggone football game up. It ain't doing enough for you. They making millions, you not. More stuff comes to you when you execute, son. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't know when you would die. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. You will cry. There's some stuff that will happen in your life that will make you cry. It's okay. It's a part of the deal. If you can't handle pain, you don't want success. You got to look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. 
And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop. And what I'm here to tell you is, if you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here, and I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university until I'm successful. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity until I get it. And you're gonna have to fight and fight and fight and fight. And most of you won't be successful, not because you can't do it, but you can't outlast your old you to get to your new you. You must have patience and engage in consistent action. Look at your belief system every single day and stick with it. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Don't rush the process. Trust the process. Everybody dreams of greatness. Everybody wants to be great. Everybody dreams of greatness, wishes to be great, talks about great, idolize the great. Everybody wants to be great, but only a few when that moment presents itself. Only a few when that time has come. Only a few are willing to step up to the moment and actually execute. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how tall he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how big he is. When you're dealing with another human being, it's not how strong he is. At the end of the day, it comes down to will. Your dream comes when you push. Ain't nobody about to give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's a lie. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. When people talk to you, tell them, this is what I'm going to do. So push. Just push past the fight. Push. Don't quit. Don't get Push. Push your way to success. It's going to rain sometimes. I will. You're going to feel discouraged sometimes. I will. No matter what the obstacle, I will. I must. Live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You can dream of these things, but understand you can also achieve them. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight. Break through that barrier and create new ones for you. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way and you stop at nothing to reach it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. It's not easy reaching your goal. It's not easy changing your life. It's not easy trying to build a business and people are negative and saying no every day. It takes a lot of guts. Bill collectors are calling and your phone might be cut off. And you might lose your job. It takes a lot of guts. You don't have nothing but lid in the corner of your pockets. You already talk about living your dream. And people laughing at you. And they're doubting you. Well, let me tell you, I believe in revenge like Frank Sinatra. He said the best revenge is massive success. It takes guts. You got to dig down deep to gut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. It's hard. No, easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. There is nothing in your life that's worthwhile, that's quick and easy. Everything worthwhile is uphill. Does it come to you? You have to fight for it every day. You have to climb for it every day. Which sets up this problem for all of us. You're never going to feel like it. It's your job to make yourself do the crap you don't want to do so you can be everything that you're supposed to be. And you're so damn busy waiting to feel like it. And you're never going to. So I just need you to think about three people in your family that you love, three people. So what I need you to do for me is I need you to think about those people every day when you're doing what you're doing. You have some days where you just want to hit the snooze button, raise your hand for me, you want to hit the snooze button. So watch this, this is what has to happen. That person that you think about has to be louder than the snooze button. So when you think about granny, you gotta think about, right, do I hit the snooze button or do I get up and make it happen for granny? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who are you doing this for? So the days you don't feel like getting up, just think about them. When you think about your siblings, when you think about mom and dad and grandma, when you think about your uncle and aunt, when you think about those people who've been there for you, just raise your hand if you say, E.T., sleep is better than that. 
When that alarm clock goes off at four or five in the morning, your mind says no. You need to say, this is what we do now. My new norm is you get up every morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. It's about executing regardless of your emotions. These test days, they test your fortitude. They test your endurance, your discipline, your grit, your dedication, your determination, your mental toughness at the very moment when everything in you wants to do absolutely nothing. You got to get the job done. Stop having dialogue with your emotions. Stop negotiating with your feelings and start to act. Your mind is a weapon and you got to begin to use it and pick that weapon up and control it. I want to know what the I'm made of. I want to know what I can overcome. And I know that the harder the task, the harder the obstacle to overcome, the more strength I'm going to gain from it. It's an opportunity to prove that you're a winner. It's an opportunity to prove you are what you say you are in your head when you look in the mirror. When you look in the mirror and you say, there goes a bad mother you actually believe it. That's the importance of passing these tests. Successful people love the experience of not feeling like doing sh- but then going and kicking ass anyway. They understand that those are the real victories in life. They understand that it's easy to do sh- when you feel like doing sh- but they also understand that the real magic, the real glory is earned when your heart is not into something, but your mind tells you, F- you, I'm going to do this sh- anyway, and does it. That's where people separate themselves from the pack. That's where people earn the right to success. They earn the money. They earn the life. They earn the relationship. They earn the body in those little moments where they don't want to do what they need to do, but move forward regardless of how they feel. That's what champions know, champions understand, and champions can thrive on. And you don't get here by quitting when you tire. You get here by quitting when you finish, when you're done. You don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. You stop when you complete it, when you execute it. Execution is worship. There is not a day that I wake up that I don't feel like going back to sleep or that I don't have anxiety about what my day is going to bring. And you know what I do? I wake up and I go handle it. And you have to understand if you don't execute on the plan, if you don't get up in the morning when you're feeling tired, scared, if you don't execute, you're not just cheating yourself. You're cheating your family. You're cheating your employees. You're cheating your team, whatever you're a part of. Your biggest enemy is you, is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. I need you to confront you because you're the one holding you up. I need you to look in the mirror and tell you, you are not going to do me like this no more. You're not going to continue to sabotage me. You're not going to keep procrastinating. You're not. You know you should be further in life, but you keep letting you slide. Hold you accountable and don't let you off the hook. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? What would happen if you just stopped wasting the opportunities that are in front of you? You'd be 10 times more efficient, 20 times more efficient. You have no idea how efficient, efficient people get. I want you to challenge you the last quarter this year to do something you've never done before, to have something you've never had before. They're not going to give it to you, but if you're willing to get up every day and go take it, if you're willing to get up every day and work for it, if you're willing to get up every day and grind from sunup to sundown, you can have the life that other people dream of. I don't negotiate with myself. Most of us come out here, we explain away why we can't do sh- and we stick in this negotiation process in our mind. You can't negotiate these things. They're definite. If you really want to change your life, do so by learning how to be gritty. Do so by learning how to be resilient. Do so by showing up time after time after time after time, long after everybody else has lost interest in showing up, and you will get where you want to go. Just keep pushing forward. With enough action, any goal can be achieved. Everything that is great comes from being in a position of uncomfortable. And if you can get used to being uncomfortable, your f***ing limits are non-existent. There are no shortcuts. There are no hacks. 
If you want to take the easy road, I promise you it's longer and more painful than the hard road. Choose the hard path. The path of responsibility, hard work, and sacrifice. The path of discipline, humility, and ownership that ultimately leads to freedom. It won't be easy. It will demand everything you've got to give, but you can do it. Discipline equals freedom. That's not a contradiction. It's an equation. Discipline is the path to freedom. Discipline is the driver of daily execution. Discipline defeats the infinite excuses that hold you back. Make discipline part of your daily life and your daily life will get better. Commitment. It means taking a stand, taking a stand for you. It means delivering. It means coming through. What if you don't keep your commitment less? What if you give it everything you have and you come up short? Or if you don't give it everything you have, what if you get weak along the way and you're throwing a towel on yourself, you surrender to your emotions? What then? A lot of people become discouraged. They become frustrated and they say, oh, what the heck? And they go back to doing what they were doing before saying it doesn't work. Life happens. Things happen out of your control. Now you can either respond to that in the way you should, or you can let that mess you up. It's not what happens to you in life that determines your future. It's how you respond to what happens to you that determines your future. I fail over and over and over again in my life. And that's why I succeed. You get to make a choice. Is failure going to break you or is failure going to make you? You get to decide failure doesn't. You're not finished. If you're alive, you're not finished. No, no, you got another gear in you. So everybody, I can because I'm capable. I will because I'm strong. I must because they count on me. It's going to take everything in you that your life deserves the concentrated effort to begin to look at how is it that I can express more of me? How is it that I can bring my ideas out here now? Don't allow that inner doubt in you to talk you out of it, to build a case on why you can't have it, to tell you why you're not good enough. You ignore that inner voice and all of the external voices. Don't judge the possibilities for what you can do based upon the circumstances because the circumstances won't determine who you are. Don't determine what you're able to do based upon your resources. Don't determine what's possible for you based upon where your life is right now. Where your life is right now is not you. That's just what it is right now. If you're coming back from adversity and devastation, it's unlimited of what you can do. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. You've got to focus on you. You've got to convince yourself every day, selling yourself on your ability to perform a job, to achieve a certain objective, telling yourself every day, here I go again, and I got what it takes. This is my day, and nothing out here is going to stop me. You are powerful. You direct the power in your life. Whatever your life is right now, it is a duplication of your consciousness. It's a result of how you have decided to use your power. And you've got the power to change that. But you don't know what has happened to me. It really doesn't matter what has happened to you. The only thing that really matters is what are you going to do about it? I can become upset, nervous, weak about it, or I can say, it's okay. Make it okay. If it becomes hard, then do it hard. But many of us just stop dead in our tracks. I don't know what to do. You do know what to do. You've got genius in you. Challenge yourself. Push yourself. Make yourself come up with something. Use your imagination. See, the universe responds to the man or woman that refuses to be denied because that is your commitment. That business that you want, that book you want to write, that dream that you have of controlling your destiny, that is yours. That's available to you. But you've got to be willing to stand there and face disappointment, not have support. Be lonely. Doubt yourself sometimes. Be rejected again and again and again and refuse to turn around until life gives it up. Nothing can resist a person that has that kind of commitment. 
What are you playing this game for? What's your passion? What's your drive? What's your purpose? What's your purpose for playing this game? Why are you doing what you're doing? If y'all gonna be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. You are phenomenal. You are beyond measure. I need you to act like it. No alarm clock needed. My passion wakes me up. I need the clock in 20 years. My passion wakes me up. My drive wakes me up. My determination wakes me up. My ability to be, do, and ask whatever I want. It wakes me up. What wakes you up? What drives you? Why are you playing this game? Is it just a game? Or do you eat it? Do you sleep it? Do you drink it? Have you possessed the game? I ain't about to miss this opportunity. I'm about to get everything I got. And I will know if I don't get another gig, it won't have anything to do with the fact that I didn't put everything on the field. You have to want to work. You never get better if you're not willing to put in the time. Most people think, well, I'll be successful if something happens. I'll be successful if I win the lottery ticket. Look, you're not going to be successful if you don't demand it. If you literally don't stake a claim to it, say, this is mine, it's in part, you're not going to have it. People need to know you for one major thing first. He works. He produces. The guy's there every day. The guy's pushing and shoving. Because the truth is, no matter how good your ideas are, how good your art is, or how good your skill set is, if you're not working, man, if you're not vibrating at a frequency that people say, my God, how does that guy do all that? 10x levels, massive action, tremendous work ethic that's just a muscle now, and it's, it's just a discipline in your life, and it's a normal way. You're not going to get in that top 10%. Success is your duty. It is your obligation and your responsibility. A person with passion always stands out. The world is so full of average. So once you have passion and a sense of energy in your life, it distinguishes you. When you're passionate about something, it isn't reasonable, but you do it anyway. Passion will take you where nothing else will ever take you. It'll give you that decided edge. It'll help you to stand out. You gotta love it. It's gotta be what you are supposed to do. You wanna sing, and even though they wanna invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're gonna sing to anybody that listen to you, including singing to yourself. You gotta write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. It's you. It's on you. You got to make that happen. Nobody's going to bring it to you on a civil flat and say, here's your dream manifested. No, it's hard. Yes, it's hard. It's difficult. Yes, right. And it's worth it. The sun doesn't shine every day. The storms will come. There are times when the nights will be long and dark and you will be alone. There will be times when the darkness seems to consume everything. But don't let it consume you. Even in the darkest times, even in the strongest storms, even when the sun is blotted out and the world is falling apart, the darkness cannot extinguish your light, you, your will your determination no matter what is happening no matter how hard the fight is as long as you keep fighting you win only surrender is defeat only quitting is the end when it just doesn't make any logical sense to go on that's when you use your emotion your anger your frustration to push you to say i don't stop when your feelings are screaming that you have had enough, override that emotion with concrete logic and willpower that says, I don't stop. Life is one big tug of war, and you don't win that tug of war by pushing the f the road. You have to pull that motherfucker. And a lot of times you have to pull yourself through life, pull yourself out of bed, pull yourself out of a funk, pull yourself out of wherever the f life is throwing at you to gain that confidence. Everybody's got a fucking plan so they can hit the f your mouth. So when your plan fails, when you get knocked the f down the fucking canvas, when everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the f are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking Stay in time. Don't shape yourself around the comings and goings of this world. Don't shape your opinions and your attitudes around circumstances that you cannot change. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed.
When you get inspired, realize that person is made up of the same whatever it is as you. And the only difference is that person is the one who has fought just that little harder. If we were all only made up of atoms, then why don't you become the stronger energy, the superior one? Can't you see we live off each other and it's the people that shine brightly who affect us positively? Stop waiting for others to do it first and break through and go do it yourself. Look at that four minute mile. People thought it impossible and now every day people can achieve it. If you want something, you can get it. It only takes will. To want and to be ambitious and to want to be successful is not enough. That's just desire. To know what you want, to understand why you're doing it, to dedicate every breath in your body to achieve. If you feel you have something to give, if you feel that your particular talent is worth developing, is worth caring for, then there's nothing you can't achieve. Life's this game of inches. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. And I know if I'm going to have any life anymore, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that itch. It is not easy, but I'm not about to quit. I'm not about to give up, and I'll do whatever it takes to maintain it. We're living life, try new things, jump, fall, fight, create love, live extreme and push your boundaries. Why? Simply because there will be no other time for you to do this. You're going to die. You can't get out of life alive. Live your life now. Live your dreams now. Start acting like this is your last day on the planet. I don't care how young or old you are, age is a number and nothing more. And should be determined by experience, by what you have done and tested, how many times you have pushed your limits and broken down. You can become whatever you want. It's you that has to want it, has to fight for it. It doesn't matter about the money, because when you truly love something, money is no object, it appears. When there's a will, there's a way. When you truly need something, you can find a way, and you stop at nothing to reach it. When a lion is born, it's not a lion. When a lion is born, it's a cub. You know what makes it look the way it looks? How does a lion look like that, but a giraffe don't look like that? He's chasing the food. So it is the process of hunting. It's not the actual meat that make him look like that. It is the actual hunt. It's the actual chasing. So whether he catch it or not, every time he goes on the hunt, he's developing. Some of y'all so caught up on the game that you don't get it. It is in practicing. It is in lifting weights. It is in resting. It is in eating right. It is in making good decisions that you look a certain way. It is how you practice. It is what you do that makes you look like you look. It is the process of the grind that shapes you and forms you. It's not the game. And that's why most of y'all get beat in the game or make mistakes in the game because you think grinding is what happens when the sun comes out. You think grind is what happens when the lights come on. You think grind is what happens when people get in the stage. That's not grind. The real grind is in the dark when nobody sees you, when nobody knows what you're doing. When you studying without coach, when you putting in those extra reps, when you watching those videos and you getting inspired, when you change your music, it's the process that makes you sweet. You know how you get really tough? It's a lifestyle. Instead of hitting that f***ing snooze button in the f***ing morning and not making your bed and not cleaning your house, you don't hit the snooze button. You get up. You don't want to go run? You go run. You don't want to go swim? You go swim. You don't want to make your bed? You make your bed. You don't want to clean your house? You clean your house. You don't want to study? You can study. That's how you start to callous your mind. It's going to suck. Do something that sucks every single day of your life. That's how you grow. Embrace the suck. No one's going to f***ing come to help me. It's f***ing me against me, period. The water's too cold. The sun's too hot. I'm getting up too early. Why am I doing this to myself? That's what the normal mind says. I had to start training my mind to think about how the f*** can I get through this? Not giving myself a way out. Creating a wall around all the f***ing ways out in my mind. So my mind knew this motherfucker is not going to give himself a way out of here. My new norm is you get up every morning at four o'clock and you suffer. That became my new fucking life. Most people want to get out of it. I said, no, motherfucker, this is your new life. This is who you are. Your new norm is you wake up and you suffer. And I started realizing if that's my mentality, this ain't hard anymore. You must retrain your mind to think differently in hell. When something sucks, good. It's going to make me tougher and it's going to make us stronger. So bring it. That's when your mind changes. That's when your focus changes. Your dedication changes. Use this time to gain strength, gain focus.
Come on, savage. You got to start thinking I'm the grittiest motherfucker in the world. You don't need shit. You need the ability to fucking grind your ass into a fine fucking powder. Greatness is not something that you meet once. It's something that you meet thousands of fucking times in your life. And you don't reach it if you're not constantly in constant fucking pursuit of greatness. Kobe Bryant doesn't sit there and talk about how many MVPs he's won or how many championships he's won. No, the is up at three o'clock in the morning practicing every day. Why do you think he is so great? He's not great because he's great. He's great because he puts the work in on a daily basis and he wins every day. This is the time to work. You better take the short time you have and be the best that you can be because they pay you different when you're the better. I can accept failure. Everyone fails at some point. I cannot accept not trying. I don't feel rejected. I tried. How do you feel rejected when you try? The person who didn't try should feel rejected. The person that didn't try should feel defeated. I tried. I don't feel rejected. I feel good about myself. I don't feel bad. I gave it 120%. You can't never feel bad when you put forth 120%. You can't let the outcomes make you feel whack. I'm not whack. I'm a warrior. I'm a problem solver. I'm not soft. I'm not weak. I don't quit. I don't give up. I don't surrender. I don't always win, but I always try. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you get fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. You just go until you get it. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no. And you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Every single person that you look up to, all of them dealt with their family and friends looking at them funny and making jokes. The difference is they continued to move when people told them to get back in line. They didn't get back in line. They continued to become what they knew they were inside of their soul. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig. You're lucky. Everything you just like, bullshit. Because before it was luck, it was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. Then I mastered it. Well, I remastered it, remastered it in hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it all. That's what success is. And every single module inside of it, you create, you own. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. And when you know what you want, you will do anything it takes to get it. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. All I'm saying is don't quit. I didn't say don't rest. I didn't say don't recover. I said don't quit. Mentally, you ain't got to take off. Mentally, you can stay connected. How do you stand the race less when your life has been destroyed with drugs or alcohol or you've lost your business or lost your job or lost your home and you've been completely devastated? How can you tell me I can come back? Most of the time, we don't have someone there to keep us in line, to make us do push-ups and give us a good swift kick in the ass when we slack off what we have to do is we have to be our own sergeant to hold the highest standards and allow no slack your problem is you start something you stop it you start something you stop it you feel good you do it you don't feel good you quit people who do stuff consistently and on time they surpass people who talented and gifted all men are created equal. Some just work harder. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. If you want it to happen, you're going to have to do what I do, and that's get up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And you're going to have to act like you got all the energy in the world. Why? Because this is my time. This is my moment. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Ain't no such thing as tomorrow. We only got today. Every decision you make, the decisions you make on Monday, the decisions you make on Tuesday, the decisions you make on Wednesday, if you decide to hit the snooze button, what you're doing is you're 10 minutes away from your goal now. You just went backwards. So whatever your goals are, whatever your dreams are, whatever your destiny is, your decisions have to be in alignment with them. Now, if you want to be broke for the rest of your life, keep doing what you're doing. But if you want something different in life, you got to do something different. You gotta go all in. 
And Mitchell Toughness says, not only do I climb that doggone mountain, I enjoy climbing the mountain. I get a kick out the mouth. I get a kick out the weights. I get a kick out of going up against the number one team. I get a kick out of fatigue. I get a kick out of the grind. I get a kick out of it. When you want to become a diamond, your whole attitude change, your whole mindset, your thinking, your relationships, the decisions that you make, how you spend your time, your energy, all of it changes. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. You take advantage of this opportunity. You let everything else go. You eat different. You study different. You practice different. It's one thing to talk about your destiny. It's one thing to dream about your destiny. But it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To say no to that party. Saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Say no when your body said stop. But you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You gotta be a body. Yep, it's tough. It's hard. I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy to sacrifice. I'm not telling you it's gonna be easy to grind. I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. But I can tell you this. It will be worth the sacrifice if you can grind your way through it. Haters motivate me. Because when they talking about me, that means I'm doing something. See, while you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you'll realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about. And you will lose, and I will win. That person who was your hater, they thought they defeated you. That person who told you you'll never amount to anything, they thought they defeated you. Use it for fuel. Use it for energy. Put them on the mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, Roll through your brain. Pull up that motherfucker that you need. That person who said you couldn't do something. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with fucking success. Oh, you're being unrealistic. You're dreaming. Yes, I am dreaming. See, a lot of people have stopped dreaming. Don't you stop dreaming. You're going to get up. You're going to get dressed. You're going to get out. And you're going to do what you've been called to do. You're going to be what you called to do. You're going to have and you're going to prove to everybody that tried to break you. You're going to prove a wrong. Everybody that tried to stop you. Everybody that tried to kill your dream. You're going to prove all of them wrong. When you're uncommon, get ready for the criticism. When you're uncommon, get ready for the opposition. When you're uncommon, get ready for the common people not to understand you. When you're uncommon, have uncommon ways. Get ready for people to try and block you and conspire against you. Never allow anybody to make you feel bad about being so blessed when you've worked your ass off to get it. You decided all the clubs, partying, hanging out, and all that shit. That ain't for me. I'm going to be out here running in the hot sun, practicing, playing basketball, shooting on weekends while everybody else is clubbing and hanging out. You got your focus right. You see me in my Rolls Royce, private planes, rooftop hotel, five, six star lifestyle. I've worked my ass off to have it. And you can keep all your little slick ass comments to yourself. Because guess what? I don't remember the last time I lost sleep over a hater. Shut the fucking noise out. Embrace the fact that people don't like you. We should do something right. Develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world-class life. You care too much about what people think about you. Everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? The creative how much money you got in your bank account you can win put off why do you that important and because that the storm of life became you are going to come when you life and life purses on you 
and that going to happen and it uh, catched it you and on the behind side and drop you kidneys and that's going to happen people don't come thought for you don't keep there uh, don't support you activity and assist want you give up that's going to happen your reason and your bees and that water got too wise and there is a vehicle that but kicked it and what you are that because reason when life drops kidneys reason with life back there are reason why you are write down five completion reason of why you are going to commit it change your life and you are back to life you live and your community cheat and wealth and checking your children and you responsible can you keep on your live and life and contribution of your a dimension of everything there is an accommodation and down of the trade and let because you can look on you reason why you back again i am be able to see you cannot a seen that got to see and mind that have to happening and before you look and finish you are and there are yourself grounding ever thought teaching ever thought going to happen and there are the reason that your atomic problem dynamic problem and ancient because you are live in you will never uh, mind fit thank you for watching like share and subscribe